I said, yo, what's up everybody? I'm Amber. This is Amber's Logic. Got a new video for you today. Got episode 63 of Milwaukee Bucks trade rumors and news. Before we get into it, y'all know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this electrifying content with the people. Y'all know what we're here to talk about. What just happened between the Milwaukee Bucks and the uh, Atlanta Hawks. I, I just don't know what's going on with the Bucks. I mean, all right, we won 105, 114, but they didn't they didn't even have uh Trey Young. It shouldn't have been this, it shouldn't have been this hard. On top of that, we hopped out on front of these dudes by 20 and choked it all the way in the third quarter. And then the turnovers too. Yo <laughs> This dude Holiday had like six turnovers. <laughs> Why did that happen? Why? Why? The third quarters for us are either feast or famine, and I don't understand it. I mean, you have a 24-point lead, and you blow it in a quarter. You blow it in a quarter. And then you got to scratch and claw the win. I just don't understand why y'all just don't put people away. I, I feel like the Bucks are on autopilot this season. There's that that energy isn't there. That I don't see the chemistry. I, I, I let's get to these numbers real quick. Bucks went on the road, 114, 105. Good road win. Holiday had a great a good offensive game, 27 points. And shout out to Brooke. Brooke did his thing with 20 and 12. And uh, Giannis had a, a very weird night. Uh, seven points, 18 rebounds, 10 assists. But he was dropping dimes. And Bobby Porter's doing what he does. Uh, 13 points and 10 rebounds. Just, I'm just, even going over these numbers, I'm just upset. Just upset. Connaughton, 2 of 10 from 3. I, he had 10 points, but th this is what I'm talking about. Grayson Allen has 6 points. You, you see what I'm saying? Ingles, seven points. Gr Bochamp only had eight points. We just got to get more from the bench, too. We, we just got to get more from the bench. We, we just we, we, we just got to get more from the bench. I, and, and then, oh, I'm sorry. I said Holiday had six turnovers. He had five. But he did hit some big shots down the stretch again. That's what makes it so frustrating dealing with... Uh, Holiday, like he, he, he makes you so angry. But down the stretch, he, he just makes play after play after play. It's unbelievable. I don't understand how he can't harness that for a full game. Can y'all explain to me in the comment section why he can't do what he does down the stretch in the whole game? Can somebody please explain that to me? That that that's just crazy. And it's not like they players is going crazy. Collins at 15, Hunter at 16, DeJounte Murray didn't do nothing. He had nine. Air Holiday, four. Com Frank Kaminsky. <laughs> oh, I'm mad about dude. He scored 13 points. He should never eat. That's crazy. Um, uh, Johnson had 12, and you know, Bogdanovich was hooping, though. He had 22. He had a good game. I'll give him that. And we hit 18 threes, too. So, I mean, that's a positive. We did hit 18 threes, shooting close to 40%. Uh, Lopez, 4-6. Holiday, 3-8. Uh, we talked about Connors at 2 10 But Javon Carter had, was 4-7. You know what? I've been killing Javon Carter the last few episodes. Javon Carter had a good game. Salute to you, Javon Carter. We need a little bit more of that consistency out of you. But uh, shout out to him. And 45% from the field. We only shot 11 free throws this game, which was crazy, too. We only shot 11 and only uh, hit 54%. Shout out to Giannis going 1 of 4. I see that's an issue again. I'm just really frustrated with the direction the Bucks are in going in right now. Like I, I just don't understand. We, we need something. We need a spark. And we don't have no spark. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all remember when the Bucks used to just blow people out? Just really just... Get him up out of there like a couple of years ago. I don't know what happened to that energy and that discipline, but this is not the same team. 
Yeah, people had a good game. Yeah, Lopez was hooping. But it shouldn't have been this hard against against the Atlanta Hawks without Trey Young. It just shouldn't have been this hard. We got to figure out what's going on, especially coming out of halftime. What is going on in the locker room to make them always come out flat like that? What are you doing in there, bud? What is going on? And we, bud got to be on thin ice by now, y'all. Like, he, he has to be on thin ice. We won, y'all. And it is another road win. We we haven't been playing that well on the road, so I guess that that's a positive and whatnot. But man, you choke away a twenty four point lead in a quarter, and then you ugh, these dudes right here. You know what? Let let's just. I, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm hot. This is ridiculous. Bud, figure it out or get him up out of here, management. That's it. These, we want Bud gone, man. That's it at the end of the day. And we want some trades. I don't care what it takes. We need some spark on this team. Unbelievable. Blow a 24-point lead to the Atlanta Hawks without Trey Young and barely win by nine. If y'all don't get up out of here and get and get y'all life together and start hooping like y'all supposed to, they don't even talk about us no more championship. They That's an afterthought now. We might, they might consider us the fourth or fifth, fifth best team in the NBA. And y'all cool with that. Y'all on autopilot. Oh, we'll just do what we need to do down the stretch to win, huh? It don't work like that all the time, Holiday. How about playing well throughout the game? Man, I'm, I'm Amber. This is Amber's Live. This is episode 63 of Milwaukee Bucks Trade Rumors and News. Bucks win uh, 114-105 on the road. Man, comment, like, subscribe, share the content. Let's talk into the comment section. Go on, please, please. 24-point lead. Are you kidding me?